On Saturday a federal rule requiring health insurers cover at home testing took effect, one of a number of recent moves aimed at curbing cases in the U.S. amid a record-breaking wave of COVID-19 infections. The wave showed signs of peaking this week, but most states are still reporting rising cases in the past seven days. Federal agencies have also moved toward recommending higher quality masks, and the Biden administration is poised to launch a website where Americans can order up to four free COVID-19 testing kits per person. Access to testing has been a national issue for weeks, as federal and state officials continue to warn about fraudulent pop-up testing sites and take-home test scams across the U.S. and public health experts have long been cautioning that high-quality masks offer better protection against Morco. On Friday, new CDC guidance acknowledged masks like KN95s offer superior protection, while still noting that a cloth masks are better than not wearing a mask at all. The CDC urged people to choose the most protective mask you can that fits well and that you will wear consistently. The Infectious Diseases Society of America applauded the CDC's move but acknowledged that high-quality masks are also more expensive and asked officials to try to reduce these cost ba. On Thursday, President Joe Biden announced that plans to make high-quality masks, including N95s, available for free. He said more details were coming next week. The Biden administration on Wednesday will launch a website where Americans can order up to four free COVID-19 testing kits per person, according to a senior administration official. Tennis star Novak Djokovic was back in immigration detention Saturday aft. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's free coronavirus watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group.